<laughs> hey guys, this is Lily here from Crafting Fruit Mental Health and I hope you're having a fabulous week. I am here with a special, special guest, my beautiful partner, Ashton. Hello, everyone. It's the beautiful partner. <laughs> we were going to say the beautiful podcast. No. I feel like we're filming a podcast. Well, not obviously. Um, so yeah, so last week's video I filmed with just myself talking about being autistic and going out with people and dating. And I've invited my partner who's um, not autistic, so he's neurotypical, as people like to say, and uh, to see his experiences of dating me basically and what it was like to date an autistic person i didn't even know neurotypical was a word yeah it's yeah that that's a whole other video <laughs> some people hate it some people don't like i don't like it but then in videos it's really handy to say because obviously people don't want to say uh like in brackets normal or you know because yeah. people who Not have autism different. are yeah, yeah yeah they're just n normal people but with autism my first question is, did you know I was autistic before I told you? Um, honestly, no. Yeah? I think I had, like, some suspicions that you're, like, slightly different. Yeah? But I didn't know that you were autistic. Was like, there... Do you know what those suspicions were? Not really. It's like, everyone's a little bit weird. Everyone's, like, <laughs> a little bit different in yeah. their own way. But, I don't know, I just assumed that you were a little bit more like out there a little crazy like with yeah i am like that anyway and, like talking about going to get tattoos and stuff and i don't know i'm i'm a very quote boring person so you were you know, i think that shocked your family yeah. when they met me like, oh no she's a bad influence but, no, but i don't I didn't, I didn't realize that you were autistic no i guess i didn't really give off those signs a lot of people don't realize i am autistic before i tell them anyway because i in brackets cope so well with it but if you saw me as a child bef when i was getting help and stuff like that it was a bit more obvious but because it's an invisible condition uh people won't be able to tell just by looking at you how do you remember me telling you um i remember you i think we were here in your place and you kind of like sat down next to me and you were like i i need to tell you something I was like, oh, okay, this sounds serious. What's going on? I, I don't know what I expected, but you're like, I'm like, I am autistic. Like you, you, the way I remember you being very like straightforward with it. Like you were yeah. just like, this is who I am. Like I am autistic. And I was like, uh, okay, that like, for me, it, it, maybe I didn't know as much as I do now about autism, but for me, it didn't really change anything. It was, it was like, as if you'd just been like, uh, I'm going to dye my hair. And I was like... <laughs> Okay, like... Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. No, I get that. For me, anyway, it was like, you, you yeah, it was just something you were telling. It was, Which is yeah, nice. You've uh, always yeah. been very good because Ashton doesn't suffer from any sort of mental health conditions or anything like that. Yeah. And I'm so used to people judging me for my anxiety. And I have had people judge me for autism and stuff like that. So you're very good with coping and just, like, you just see people as people and you're just like... You're so chill and like nice about everyone, yeah. and you only judge people on like their acts. Yeah. yeah, you're you're such a great person. And I think more people should be like you. But I can't remember telling you. I remember my mum mentioning I was autistic before I told you, and I was like, yes. "Mum, yes." So you probably were a bit prepared anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I remember you not really reacting. But I'd already I sat. I remember calling you because my mate told me like a couple of months into our relationship. I, she was like, "You have to tell him like." everything and i said i told you all my mental health issues but i didn't want to talk about my autism because i thought it would be more of the most deterrent one how did you f well we just talked about how you did feel with me being autistic you weren't really bothered about it it didn't really affect anything no it doesn't really change the way that i feel about you you're still like lily that's, i think that's, that's the important are. thing when people see people as like labels like yeah. oh you're just a gay person or you're just yeah. white or you're just autistic that's not really who we are we are i'm lily you're ashton yeah, I, that, we're not our labels that's the important thing like yeah you oh, i don't know how to put this into words you weren't you're, you're still you i knew who you were as a person like 
Yeah. Uh, I got to know you, like, the way that you acted and stuff. And then just because you told me you were autistic, you didn't change the way that you acted. If you had told me and then suddenly started acting differently, maybe it would have been different. Yes. But you were still... This is why I think same. it's so important to just act like yourself. Yeah. Because if you fake, they're going to find out who you are eventually. And also, you'll find the person that loves you. I also believe, like I said in my last video about being upfront about it and just saying to people, I'm autistic. Maybe not like the f moment you meet them, but Hi, I I'm think... I'm autistic. My name's Lily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, that, that, that would have thrown me a little bit with like the first. You would have been like, said. "Marry me." <laughs> yeah, well, definitely. So um, instead, the first thing you said was Pokemon. So yeah, uh, don't, we don't need to talk <laughs> about that. Very drunk, very drunk. But um, yeah, so I do think it's better to be upfront. But obviously, in my last video, I talked more about that. What did you know about autism before you knew me? Um, not much. The only thing that I really knew about autism was that. There's well the like stereotypes of like is it high functioning yes autism where it's it's a really bad yes it's yeah. there's they're changing terminology all okay. the time I well, think high functioning and Asperger's is meant to be the same sort of thing but people that, people see it differently because they've grown up with different languages but that's that's the sort of stuff that I knew about autism like that was the level that I knew about mm. like, I knew there was like a spectrum and that people had different degrees of it but yeah. like. Aside from the very stere stereotypical, like, oh, Rain Man yeah, type like, um, levels of autism, that's that's all I really knew about. Yeah, I think most people knew that's, like, of similar sort of experiences. Did you know anyone or suspect anyone? Because there probably would have been a few people at mm. school. I think there was a few people that I knew at school that were autistic. Mm. Um but I don't think at, I feel like the you're time, the type of person I, to care. I was probably too <laughs> blind to see it. I was just like, oh yeah, these these people are different. But um, but does it matter? I don't at the think there's time? anyone like directly in my family that oh, no. I knew that was autistic. So uh, yeah, no. Do you ever think of my autism or like what I am? Do you ever see what I'm doing and think, oh, she's that's an autistic trait? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's a few times. Uh, the the primary example, the one that I always bring up, is when you and our friend were sat in a field together, and um, you were talking about autism and how hard it is to maintain eye contact. Except both of you were staring <laughs> away from each other while talking about the fact that you find it hard to look into into people's eyes. Like it was, <laughs> yeah. it was a very, I'd say, funny moment. Oh, that but, is yeah. such a hilarious moment. Yeah, yeah. that was so much fun. <laughs> It's it's not like I don't see it in everything that you do, but there's no. a few things where I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Pat, pat. but you do. But yeah, it it's more of like a loving way that I see. It. I'm just kind of like, oh. But it's you a, just I think because what do. I do, you just know that oh, that's just an autistic trait. But you won't think of it. You don't I, obviously see what everything I'm doing is yeah, autism. I, d I don't look at it and be like, oh, that's just Lily being autistic. It's it's more like a oh yeah, that's something yeah. that. Like, I'm very You're... sort of, I'd have to, te like, when people say something, I'm like, are you being literal or not? Like, Yeah. It's like, I know that you're quite sensitive to, like, touch and stuff, so... Yes. Occasionally you get, like, annoyed by something. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That's something yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the biggest issue of our... Well, it's not an issue of our relationship, but um, sometimes I think I'm more demanding in yeah. the way of, I don't... If I... Sometimes need to be like, left alone yeah. in something you know to do that where i never get that with you obviously because you feel like just don't i have I, that I need, situation I space. i'm like yeah i know I'll, yeah I can, like give you you're very space, good like and that. i know that you still like care about me and it's not like a like back away get away from me kind of it's mm. just like a you need a minute to yeah chill you know, out chill out so this is a big question this was one of the reasons i was most worried about telling you i was autistic um do you worry about passing autism on to our children? Or Honestly, do you not think about it? I don't think about it very much. Um, maybe that's just where I am in life at the moment. I don't think, it, not thinking about children mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, if, it, if it happens and you, like, our children are autistic, I don't, I, I think that would 
like be something that I deal with then. Like I cope yeah. with it. That's it sounds really horrible to be like, oh yeah, I'll cope with it. But well, you do I, cope with yeah, the struggles I, of I life, and I don't, I don't see it as a problem. Mm-hmm. Obviously, like in an ideal world, I'd prefer if like yeah people weren't autistic. Like I know that it is a struggle living with it, but if it happens, but also you get amazing traits with yeah. it as well. If, if it happens. Yeah. that's something that I'll t- support my child through yeah and I think also like I've changed my mind on this I used to really worry about I think I used to worry about my partner not wanting to be with me because of that I always have wanted children I've always thought about it and because I had such a struggle growing up I was like I don't want this child to go through the same thing I would but at the same time if I get given an autistic child or a child with any sort of um problem i mean at the end of the day all you want is a healthy child and a happy child and that's important um who is better to teach that child the ways of life than someone who's gone through it and that's really important and i just think you know we don't know what will happen in the future i don't know what our child would be like and if they have what i have um it could be worse are there things about my autism that you like or dislike um hmm, not particularly there's not like a particular thing that i'm like oh man i hate that about you um i guess it's because it's just me there's a thing that you do where occasionally you'll have trouble spelling a word and you come to me and say how do i spell this thing um personally i find it kind of (laughs) cute yeah just the fact that you're like I, I, I am really that lucky that you are. I'm okay to say that to you because I had it so yeah. many times in the past where people wouldn't help me out. I, I know that you've had trouble with that in the past and you worry about that. And so the fact that you do come to me and you'd be like, yeah. hey, I need help with this, it's like, oh, it's that level of trust. And to me, that's a cool thing. So when I told you I was autistic, or even just like months later, or because we've been together five and a half years. Jesus. <laughs> you know <laughs> commitment or what have did you ever tell your family or friends um yes uh i didn't like go out of my way to be like everyone you need to know no. um and i didn't really tell my friends like if my friends became your friends and it was something that you wanted to tell them then that was your yeah. choice to make but it didn't feel right being like going up to my friends and being like oh have you heard the news lily's autistic <laughs> no um but i did tell my parents not immediately after really I found out. no well yeah yeah i did tell them but it wasn't immediately after i found out it was like a little while later i was like oh yeah just so that you know like just- yeah i think with t- stereotypically women are more chatty with their mates like i would if that was vice versa i'd probably tell my mates and be like oh this is what's going in my life because we're just more open like that, where I can't imagine you and especially nah. your friends sitting down and going, oh, this is going through my life right now. You yeah. you do that, but in a different way. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I did wonder if you told your parents. Yeah, I did tell How did parents. they react? Um, they had, like, a fairly similar reaction to me, in a way. It's just they, when I told them, I was like, oh, you know, it's just so that you are aware, like, it, if there is a moment where, like, Lily's panicky about something. It's like, yeah, well, like basically telling them like yeah, Lily, she make like, you have panic attacks. She's yeah, autistic. I think the like, panic don't... attacks are probably more yeah. of the thing to tell them rather than. Yeah. But yeah. But just, I was basically just telling them like, like you know don't worry about Lily. Well worry, but don't, <laughs> don't stress about Lily. Like if it does happen, like she's she'll be all right. Like I I can look after her and like she'll look after herself things yeah. are okay um it was more of just like a general letting them know and they were like oh okay that well yeah yeah but like they didn't really they were still kind of saw you as like lily's lily <laughs> what advice would you give to someone dating an autistic person uh i guess patience is a good one mm. um obviously you can't like wait forever but you have to be a little bit more patient than you would with like someone else maybe like 
giving you space is a yeah. good example. Um, it's a learning curve as well. Like, yeah, uh, if you suspect that they're autistic, don't try and like force <laughs> it out of them. Don't try and be like, you have to tell me like, are yeah. you autistic? Blah blah blah. I need to know. It, well, they might not know themselves. Yeah, you know, it's something that when they're comfortable with, they'll tell you. Yeah. No, I agree with that. Yeah, it's like a level of trust that you kind of have to. Mm. Reach. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I yeah, I agree with that. It's just patience, learning, and I kind of always think learning isn't a bad thing. So like looking up how to help yeah, someone. That was that was something that. Did I, you actually I do that? Do. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> I think it was. I can't remember what it, what it was that we were arguing about but we did have an argument at some point really? and yeah and you s- said something along the lines of like um like if you wanted to help you'd like oh god yeah i remember that you'd, argument you'd, yeah like, l- look it up you would you actually spend the time to try and help me and i felt really bad after that because i was like no yeah that is right like but if, if I do want to help you, I need to know how to help you. Yeah. It's important that I in your defense, I don't though, want to like try and give you advice and no, then it be yeah. the wrong advice. So I, that's what I did. I, I went and I looked it up and I learned. Yeah, I think also in your defense as well, like our issues we had in our relationship, like a good few years back, um, they. I think a lot of it was down to the fact that we were both young. Yeah, and from your point of view there was times where you were like oh it's not like this and I was like no I can tell it's like this but you know at the end of the day we were young and we were young and unafraid and we were ready to start oh I was afraid (laughs) I was honey I've got an anxiety disorder I'm always afraid (laughs) the great thing about Ashton is I'm really panicky you're like the chillest person I've ever met so we just balance each other out we've got the equal amount of uh, the regular amount of chill between two of us yeah we're very balanced in that way last thing is do you have anything to say to the audience Um, audience do you have anything to say to like the ten people watching this (laughs) make sure you drink plenty of water and eat some vegetables sometimes (laughs) really yeah why not it's 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 good life advice. All right, that was. I'm just thirsty at the moment. Wait, you got water right there. I know, but it'll make a weird noise when I drink it. Yeah, if I can edit it out. <laughs> anyway, I want to say a huge thank you to Ashton. Did you like this sort of video? Do you want him in more videos where we can have discussions about this sort of thing? And um. I'm the comedy of the dynamic duo. What do you not think I'm funny? I didn't say I don't think you're funny. I think I'm funnier. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Anyway, um, I love you loads, Ashton. And Aww. yeah, I love you guys too. So don't forget to subscribe. Tell me what you thought down below. Do you have similarities? Do you date someone with autism or not? Let me know and let's open up a discussion. I'll see you guys next week and I love you. Whew.